I think further investigation is absolutely warranted, whatever No matter they, what they say. Well, if they told us that it was all a figment of our imagination, that 500 million people were not at risk of identity theft because this report of a massive data breach was somehow illusory, yeah, no need for an investigation. But in the meantime, we want to know from Yahoo what is being done to protect these 500 million people who are at risk of identity theft. When did Yahoo first learn about this breach? What did it do about it? Why did it take so long, two years, to know that there was this major security breach? And other questions that we've asked, but there should also be an investigation by authorities into what caused it, how it happened, Senator. and what could have been done to prevent it. Is the root of the issue really that there should be consumer protections in place that require disclosure of cyber attacks within a certain period of time? Astonishing and appalling, not just shocking, that this kind of breach could have occurred two years ago and consumers be at risk for this entire period of time. So, yes, there's a need for Congress to act. And I have submitted legislation along with my colleague from Florida, Senator Nelson, that would, number one, set standards for what kind of security protocols should be in place. Number two, establish mandatory policy for notification. In other words, people should be alerted that they're at risk of identity theft within a timely period. And it will vary according to economy sector, but there should be standards. And a right of action by the Federal Trade Commission and by states, state attorneys general. I serve as state attorney general of Connecticut so that there can be enforcement of this measure. Congress should act. So, Senator, I mean, excuse me for being skeptical. Skeptical. I mean, yeah, Yahoo probably should have told everybody, but I find it very hard to believe that you and Congress are going to be the ones who actually protect us all from this kind of thing with yet another round of regulations and things that, uh, rules that apply to one set of technologies that's going to change dramatically by the time you guys finally get around to actually writing or passing the bill? Well, actually, there are rules in place, regulation already existing in 47 states. But the it problem did, but is it they didn't vary here, from one to another. And a company like Yahoo, which is a national company, is looking for national standards and national policies. Actually, most responsible businesses already are taking steps in this direction, but they're seeking some certainty and also security that they won't be subject to 47 different standards. So it's really pro-jobs, pro-business, pro-certainty. Businesses can plan when they know what the national laws are. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.